I wear the mask in order to protect this city. But when faced with a new breed of criminals calling themselves the Pact, the direct approach was met with disaster. I had to don a different mask. As Bruce Wayne, I infiltrated their ranks. The plan was to get in, set the trap, and get out. But the plan failed. Now they're one step closer to their goal. And all I have are questions. What is the pact really after? Why steal Riddler's body? Friend or foe? Nice place you got here. Did it come with the vermin? Or did you add that yourselves? This everyone? Riddler mentioned Harley. Miss Quinn is otherwise occupied. Our crossing the river stinks. We are the entirety of our cabal at the moment. Oh, this gentleman was someone we picked up after Riddler's departure. Bruce Wayne. Bruce, was it? Charmed. Be gentle. This is Mr. Wayne's first foray into the field of felonry. Now, Chante. Oh, I didn't know this party was so formal. Enough pleasantries. You have the device. Excellent. Harley said your gems were in her safe. If she fails to return, you can pester John. He knows the code. It's fine. We can start. Oh, well, let's get to... What are we doing? Well, we're going to... extricate the body. Riddler built a secret back door into the security system of his old employer. I need to scan his eyes and then create a retinal key for them. Then I'll use the key to make goggles, and we can open whatever doors he could. Help me lift. This wasn't the original plan. He was supposed to be alive, but... Things change. Get his head in a good position. That's far enough. Dig the plates under his lids. Press the button and scan away. Ugh, that's gross. What the hell did they do to him? And what's with the refrigerator coffin? Why would the agency transport him like this? This doesn't add up, Bruce. Bruce, I'm sorry about Lucius. I'm guessing it wasn't a gas leak or whatever the news said. Thank you. He was a... a good man. And a friend. We can commiserate if you want. I recently lost a friend, too. On to the next. I didn't know what I'd be walking into with this group, but I certainly didn't expect it to involve you. And I know you're no stranger to peril, but you shouldn't be here. So, what gives? Well, it shouldn't be that much of a shock. My father was a crime lord. Apples and trees and all. Glad to know you've grown more comfortable with lying since we last met. You're not the only one with questions. One question. Make it fast. How did you get involved with these psychopaths? Ran into Harley once or twice, but I knew Riddler. He tried to bring me in before... Well, before someone here probably killed him. Have we concluded? Two eyes in the can. Excellent work. Then we can... <gasps> She's back!
Sorry I'm late. Traffic was murder. <laughs> I couldn't stand it. You were there, and, and I was here. I was on my way. Well, I was getting to get on my way. Look, I, I put on shoes. Oh, thanks, Puddin. You would have had a blast if you were with me. Mm. And how about this one? Did you miss me, sugar? Well, John was beside himself. Was? I'd say still is. So I got one question for you. If you missed me so much, why the hell did you let them leave me behind? Since Big Bad Bean's plan almost got one of our most valuable members killed today, we're having a change in management. What the hell? So speak up if there are any objections. We can hash this out in a reasonable manner. Hurry! Oh, this one's actually got some brains. <laughs> Everyone else better be smart too. You! Ah, ah, ah. You are a means to an end when this is over. Did it occur to any one of you people that the job we just pulled went sideways a little too quick? I think they knew we were coming, because a little rat told them. They was right to beat up his guy before we left to hit the convoy. He just beat up the wrong one. Since he couldn't deliver, I'm taking over the case. And I'm not gonna let whoever it is stop me from getting what I want. This leak, it almost got me killed. So now, no one moves, no one breathes without my say-so. Cause I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And whoever it is, is gonna find their inside suddenly al fresco. That make you nervous, Bruce? What do you have to say? Don't threaten me. Careful, Bruce. You're valuable, but not irreplaceable. Remember that. Stop waiting! Excuse me, peanut gallery? You got something to say? Wayne pulled his own out there. Saw it with my own two eyes. I ain't gonna let a good effort go unnoticed. Then, let's get back to work! If anyone else has any issues with the New World Order, my door is always open. Hmm. <laughs> Lead us to our prize and all will be forgiven. Wayne, come here a second. That was dangerous. Now you're on her radar. Hey, we chose a dangerous line of work. Hiya, Bruce. Guess you're clear. For now. Because apparently you're so capable. I got an errand for you. I know just about everything about Riddler's plan. But he kept one card close to his chest. The location of the job. Took the secret to his grave. Now I got his laptop. But look at this. And keep your yap shut. Can't let any of these mooks sense weakness. It's encrypted! It's like he knew not to trust any of us. <laughs> Go figure. Maybe you should call IT. I don't know whether to laugh or hit you so hard your eyeballs fall out. Riddler had a beef with his former employers, who were cooking up some very dangerous and super fun stuff at a black site lab somewhere here in Gotham. And what is it we're after, this super fun stuff? You ask a lot of questions, you know that? I've been able to piece together most of his plan, except where the Black Site is. You're gonna find the location. And when you do, maybe you'll get a treat. A sweet, delicious little treat. You're asking me to do something with little or no information to go on. And when I asked you for some kind of clarification, you dodge. 
Bruce. Did you see what just happened? I'm in charge here. That means when I ask you to bring me something, you deliver it. No questions asked. See, I ain't letting this laptop out of my sight until I clear up this mole problem. So, I want you to head over to Riddler's place and do some digging. I might need some help. That place is full of death traps. Take John with you. Just don't get him hurt. That's my job. Road trip? With Bruce? I'm in. Actually, I was thinking Catwoman. After all, she knew him. Mm, good points. Take it too. I'll grab some snacks. <laughs> What's that guy's story? Cat lady, are you more of a beef jerky or trumpet-shaped corn bites girl? Well, there's never a dull moment with John around. Why do I get the feeling that's not a good thing? <laughs> Who's ready to hit the road? Who are you gonna tell if you see anything that ain't on the up and up? You! But don't worry, Bruce is my best friend. He'd never betray me. Oh, sweet, innocent Puddin. Friends have the easiest access to stab you in the back. Now get out of here. I call shotgun. I want that black site location. I can't believe this is where he decided to set up shop. It wasn't like him to slum it. I always thought the abandoned water tower was an odd choice. I mean, the mold risk alone. Why don't you two go that way? Let's see if anyone's around. Come on, John. We'll go check the other side. <laughs> Meow. Glad you answered. We need to talk. Listen about the convoy. We couldn't get to you safely. The EMP blast knocked out my ability to communicate with my field agents. Sorry. It obviously wasn't supposed to go down like that. Harley's crew is a threat, and they are moving fast. Towards what? Do you know what their end goal is yet? No. No one's talking. Bruce, you are the best chance of figuring out what that is. Well, now they have Riddler's body. It was cryogenically frozen. By the agency. Bruce, this was a 60-year-old man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. I have some very interested researchers who wanted to see what kept him ticking. Wait, wait. Uh, I got the punchline wrong. Uh, let me start over. It's fine, John. Bruce, are you there? Doc, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> we snooped around. There's a police car nearby, but no officer in sight. And it could really use a wash. Maybe it's just placed there to scare off looters, but either way, we should be careful. Okay, let's find a way in. Just have to get through these boards. Don't worry. I brought my key. Hey, I believe in you, John. You show that wall who's boss. Hey, Bruce, I have an idea. Why don't you jimmy it open? Who 
Who's there? Don't move! Wait a minute. I know you. You're Bruce Wayne. Uh, guilty is charged. Want to explain what you're doing out here? This isn't exactly the heights. Back off, Detective. It's none of your business what I'm doing here. Sure as hell is my business. I'm the goddamn police and you're breaking the law. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Detective... Bullock. Detective Bullock, right. Uh, look, there's... actually a very good reason for all of this. Stay right there, jerkwad. I'm calling this in. I've been asked to report any suspicious activity around here, and you're acting suspicious. Okay, then I'll just leave. No, you stay right there, like I told you. Bruce freaking Wayne. Unbelievable. I'd even be working tonight if I didn't need the extra dough. But maybe this will make me look good with the boss. Oh, sure, sure. O overtime, right? Well, maybe... Maybe I can help with that? I'm not that kind of cop. No, 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 of course not. Of course not. This... This benefits both of us. Here, here. It's everything I got on me. Just hang up the phone, and it's yours. <laughs> Try not to die in there. I do not want this coming back on me. Come on, let's get moving. a little warmth. Huh, sounds like you knew a very different Riddler than the one I met. I wish he'd never come back to Gotham. Look, there's no sense in fooling yourself. People are who they are. <laughs> I guess that's why you're here, huh? Bruce Wayne, criminal to the core. You knew him best. Where do you think he'd keep any info on what we're after? Well, not to state the obvious, but... It's probably behind a riddle or a puzzle somewhere. Oh, I call the downstairs bedroom! <laughs> Careful, John. This place is probably a death trap. Follow him, Bruce. I don't want John's curiosity to get us killed. I'm getting really tempted to touch something! <laughs> How many TVs does one guy need? Probably afraid he'd miss something. That's odd. This is where he built his boxes. <sighs> you gotta admire the ingenuity. It's a wonderful toy. It's a wonderful way to lose your hand. Curiosity killed the cat. There's something under here. 
Some kind of platform. Handcart? Wonder what he was moving. Hey, Bruce. I've been wanting to talk to you. Alone. You have? I don't like how cozy Catwoman was with Riddler. Because he was a killer? Because he was rude to me! We need to stick together. I don't trust this kitten one bit. You know what they say about a black cat crossing your path. You're right, John. I am. Of course I am. <laughs> Watch out, in case she tries to make a move. if you... Yes? If you missed me. John is right downstairs. Yes or no? Answer the question. <sighs> Fine. Of course I did. But don't read any more into it than that. So why are you really here? I said I'd tell you when we're alone. We're not. I'll tell you later. How'd you and Riddler first meet? You know, I do a lot of... freelance work. Let me guess, Riddler wanted a painting from the Louvre? <laughs> Without bragging too much, it was an easy job. Huh. After all, I'd already robbed the place twice. He became a valuable contact when money was tight. food, and lots of it. We can't all get lobster thermidor on a whim. Riddler's bed couldn't look less comfortable if he tried. A pair of Riddler's shoes. He didn't exactly have great fashion sense. You're... you're taking his shoes? They might be useful. Okay. They're less expensive than what you usually wear. proud of his exploits, wasn't he? Let me help you out there, Bruce. I don't want you to bend your cover bow. second inevitably follows. You have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? 
I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. Work, sleep, death. A little grim. A little boring is what it is. Tesla coils. This whole place is an electrical death cage. If these start sending out energy, we'll all fry. That sounds positive. I take you by night. By day, take you back. None suffer to have me, but do from my lack. like you've got both feet in the grave. You hear that? It's like you're standing on an elevator. I bet whatever we're looking for is down there. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe... You could stay? Oh no. Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. Uh, John, could you give us a moment? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, gotcha! Something. Charming and unnerving at the same time. So, now that we have a moment, care to fill me in? Care to tell me the real reason you're doing this? Out with it, Bruce. What's going on? I'm undercover. For yourself? <laughs> Isn't Bruce Wayne kind of always undercover? Or is it the other way around? No, yes, I'm undercover working with a group called the Agency. Partnered up with people, huh? Good to hear you've grown a bit. Sorry if I was a little rattled at the clubhouse back there. Wasn't quite ready to see your face again, but... You look good. Even with what looks like a piercing gone wrong. Not great or anything. But... good. So, you and Riddler... You were a thing? Listen, nothing happened between Eddie and I. Nothing other than a few felonies. Don't worry. You'll always be my number one in Gotham. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? You're not really in bed with this... pact. And what if I am? Maybe I need the money. Maybe I don't. Then you're going down. Same as them. Remind me what happened the last time you tried to take me down. I don't think we need to go through that again. Yoo-hoo! Can you two get a move on? Playing guard is getting pretty poor. Just another minute. We've got it under control, John. Fine. We've got a job to do, remember? 
Let's just see what this is all about. This might hold the black site location. You think it might be a trap? Maybe. But we already made it past the line of security, so... Maybe not. Your certainty is assuring. Didn't Riddler carry one of these in Europe? He did, but they were purely aesthetic. Something nearby we can use. USB drive. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Project Lotus. Sanctus. Retinal scan required. Shit. I haven't made the goggles yet. Retinal scan. Time out. The fastest protocol detected. The decryptor! You know what Sanctus is, don't you? I heard stories on jobs. Best I can piece together, they're a group up to... No good is generous. They're scary. Great. One thing's for sure. We're not getting any more info off that thing. Well, there's always Riddler's laptop. Harley still has it. The decryptor probably works with that as well. Everything okay down there? Send the lift back up. I should have come back sooner and reeled Riddler in, but I didn't. Knowing he was tangled up with Sanctus, and what he did to Lucius. This is my fault. My mess to clean up. By yourself? I can help. Why? Do I look like I need your help? You don't have the code to do what needs to be done here, Bruce. You want to do this your way? You'll have to beat me to it. doing balancing the scales you are not leaving here with that oh honey i'm already gone resourceful as always You haven't gotten past me yet. Slow down a bit! You're coming out blurry! I forgot 
how skilled you are with your hands. <laughs> laptop for myself and I'm finishing this my way <clears throat> Harley's laptop huh you and I were going to talk somewhere else So, John, about the laptop, um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will. And maybe I'll do just that. Then she'd remember my name has an H in it. Because we're friends, John. This is between us. Oh, we are friends. We are. But Harley's... Harley? I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great. Don't, don't get me wrong. I... I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? I guess you could say she's my Harley. I'm not sure she's good for me, but just can't seem to get away from her. You stop right there, Bruce Wayne. I'm tearing up. Look at this couple of weeping willies over here. <laughs> Drowning our sorrows in caffeine and sugar. <sighs> if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? People aren't as complex as you make them out to be. Harley's smart, but she's still human. She can be manipulated just like anyone else. Anyone, huh? How does one go about performing this magic trick? Find a problem they have, and then make sure they think you are the only one who could solve it. Once they have to rely on you, they're yours. <laughs> We're social animals, John. Might as well exploit it. But how do you know what makes them tick? Too bad you can't just open them up and take a look. You'd be surprised what people will say when you just let them talk. All you need to do is give them space, and the secrets will spill. Uh-huh. Act interesting. Let them keep digging. Fascinating. Acknowledge that you hear them, but don't get in their way. Yep, yeah, makes total sense. Nice try. 
I've learned that manipulation can take on many forms. Some of them more subtle than others. Tell me more. Tell me everything. Get inside their head. Once you know how they think, you know what they want. And you use that. You know, one of the doctors in Arkham tried to get in here. Wait, wait. I have an idea. Let's try it out. Now, first thing that comes to your head, what do you see? You don't think? I don't know. Bats. Ooh, like creatures of the night, do you? You're an interesting case study, Mr. Wayne. I think you might be a danger to yourself and others. <laughs> Is what Dr. Leland would always say to me. <laughs> now, this one. What do you see? I don't know, it looks like a... like a maze. The alleyways of Gotham. Ah, a complicated path. The way out isn't clear. You ever do the mazes in the back of those activity magazines and doctor's waiting rooms? I have. A ton of them. Been waiting my whole life just to be seen. What an illuminating evening this has been, Bruce. I feel like we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Let's try just one more. John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. We are friends, and you're right about that. And, uh, we did have a good back and forth with the tests. I feel so much closer. <laughs> it's nice. Drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce? Happy now? <laughs> Don't look so pleased with yourself. Oh, it's good you're here. The last time I fired this up, you didn't show. Had me concerned. What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? Oh, that ain't like you. You don't take time off. Waller ordered me to stand down. You're kidding! A nerve on her. I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. By then it was just Quinn. She still hospitalized a dozen good cops, then gave us a slip. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I. Uh, I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know he was your friend, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. But I think he might have been up to some shady stuff before Riddler's attack on Wayne Tower. He might not have been the man you thought. Not entirely. I don't know anything about that. Maury was an arms dealer, and Riddler targeted him the same way he did Fox. My gut is telling me that's no coincidence. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. 
And that means something stinks in Denmark. You can follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look, just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? With all the scandals surrounding his family, it's hard not to be familiar with Bruce Wayne. Yeah, and if you haven't noticed, he's got a knack for burying bad publicity. Yet everyone believing he was a stand-up guy, including me. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. At strike three, he flashes enough cash at one of my officers to get into Riddler's old workshop. Why? Bruce Wayne is dirty and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I can keep an eye on Bruce Wayne. Dennett, I'm not asking for an eye. I want him delivered, here, with a little bow. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it. I know your friend Catwoman's in town. I've got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. I can't ask you to break the law, Jim. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you, you better not tell her we're coming. He sounds like he's on a war path. If I warn Selena and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. It's my fault Gordon is like this. I want to tell him everything, but I can't. Secrets poison relationships, Bruce. But to protect this city, to protect yourself, he can't know. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. She already betrayed me back at the workshop. Yes, Catwoman's motives will always be suspect. You know what must be done. Splendid. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to save. <laughs> Please, Jim. You have, have to let me in. I can't, Batman. It's too much. I'm the best friend you have in the spandex or whatever my suit is. You can trust me. What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, John. Wow, quite a grip you've got there. You must squeeze a stress ball a lot. I've been waiting over a year for that moment. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> I'm looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. 
you're... you're Batman! <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on! Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets, right there! And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I, I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. That depends on what she does. If she hurts innocents, then I stop her. Well, that's... You really... This is what dedication looks like, huh? But if I get the laptop, uh, there is no score. So, win-win. Now, now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> We look so cool. I mean, you're cool. Uh, I'm not. I'm not usually cool, but next to you, I look cool. This is gonna look great on my wall. Thank you. Laptop behind the stack deck. I'll be there. Promise. Hope to die. You won't be disappointed. You speak, but all I hear are lies! You dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud! I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Bane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the black site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Impressive science freeze. You'll notice I don't do anything ineffectually, Mr. Wayne. Hear that, Freeze? Wayne is cut out for this life after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I thought as much after he took a pipe to one of my boys. <laughs> one more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Bane, come on! I, I slipped up! Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a more. You're trying to slow us down! No! Look, I want to get paid, just like you! I got mouths to feed! Man, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found! I... You know I'm no traitor! I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. I think Bane's on to something. You're the mole. The hell, man?! You son of a bitch! It appears your time is up. What the hell is going no, on no, here? No, 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 no! Merely plugging their leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? 
You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? it? Yours? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca! You just killed one. I only shot him. <laughs> Who do you think wins that recruitment war? They won't follow you. What do you want, John? Right. The laptop. This seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. And uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top. Yes, that was a good one. Hey, you two. What's going on with you guys? Harley! What a surprise! You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus, ring any bells. And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Wooden? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Which is good for you, because you need help. The mole, Bane's men, you maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it alone. <laughs> I'm really the only man for the job. Me, and only me. You, time out! And you, we need to talk. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. This here's one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Is it John? Oh, look at that. There are some neurons firing in there after all. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Looks like. I'm on my way to meet him now. Keep the drones on alert. They're online and overhead, sir. Don't let your guard down. He's here. Did 
you get it? It didn't feel great, you know? Stealing from her. It felt like there was a little Harley with a halo on this shoulder telling me not to do it, and then the bat on the other whispering, Just get it, John. <sighs> or did you have the halo and Harley the horns? You must run across this in your line of work. How do you deal with doing something good when you might be hurting someone you love? Because it certainly didn't feel good. Every time it costs you a little bit of yourself. I wish there was an easier answer. It seems like you can't do it very often. Or there'll be nothing left. I did bring the thing, by the way. Don't you worry. Perseus! I bring you the Gorgon's head. So, is Batman happy? You, you look pretty happy. Well, I'm happy. I did something for you. Maybe you uh, could do something for me. Like? Teach me. Anything. What about those, uh... Boomerangs you have. I promised only use it for, you know, hero things. Fine. <laughs> so awesome. Batarang. Long range weapon. Effective. Dangerous. <laughs> Nailed it. Dead on. Your turn. On oh, my hand. Oh gosh. My hands are sweating. Use your free hand to help you aim. It'll follow your elbow. Don't overthink it. Just throw. Yeah. Oh, dang! It's okay. Practice makes perfect. Can I... Can, can I keep it? hundred times a day until I get it. I'm working with you, Batman, and it's just been... Wow. What I meant to say is... Uh, it's, it's been an honor. If you ever need someone to watch your back, you know I'm good with a batarang. And I have a lot of guns, too. If that helps. This is exciting. A new leaf. It was a pleasure working with you, John. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. I'd love to... Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, have your people call my people. Do you have a cape guy? Because I was thinking about updating my look. I'm your man on the street. Literally. Selena. I had nowhere else to go. I guess I was a fool for thinking I'd be safe here. Get the hell out of my house. This was as far as I could get, given my situation. <sighs> Maybe we should just start from the beginning. What happened? I'm glad you're here, Bruce. Miss Kyle is injured. I address the wound as best I can. I trust you told him about your motorcycle accident? I was just about to. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me tending to her wounds. I couldn't turn her away. Not in her condition. Not at all. Thanks for taking care of her. You've been so good to me, Al. I don't know how I would ever repay you. But of course. I hate to ask, but would you mind giving Bruce and I a second to talk? How can I refuse? I'm worried about him, Bruce. I'm pretty sure he's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. And you don't want to be the one who pushes him over the edge. 
You're right. He's been off lately. I'm glad you're aware. You're lucky to have each other. Whoa, what are you doing? Relax. I'm just changing out the bandage. Be a doll and hand me a clean piece of gauze. Been through two dressings already. There. Good as new. So, do you want to tell me what really happened? We both know you didn't get this from a motorcycle accident. I was ambushed by your friend Gordon tonight. Thought you knew. You and Gordon are so tight. He must have mentioned he was coming after me. Yeah, I heard. He told me he was coming after you. I suspected as much. Why didn't you warn me? I thought we were... friends. I never thought you would give me up. Not to the cops. I tried, but you ran out and wouldn't listen. And in return, I get life in prison? And here I thought you cared about me. Listen, this little game we play, you know I've always enjoyed it. The tit for tat. It's fun. But tonight, You've taken it too far. Way too far. Is that why you came here? To guilt trip me? No. I came for Harley's laptop. Well, why is the laptop so important to you? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. I let my temper get the best of me. But this is bigger than my vendetta. I want to find that black site, before they do. The laptop is useless without Riddler's decryptor. Good thing I brought it then. You have the goggles too? Not so fast. What are you offering me in return? You know when it comes to me, nothing is for free. I'll give you what you really want. Me. <sighs> You had your chance, remember? Besides, you were willing to give me to the cops. Dodging bullets doesn't exactly put me in the mood. What do you want from me, Selina? I want you to admit that you need my help. I want you to say, Selina, I need you. I can't do this without you. I will never need you, Selina. Keep telling yourself that. Hey! That wasn't a very nice thing to do. It's okay, Alfred. I was just leaving. Miss Kyle came to you injured, vulnerable, looking for help. And all you did was hurt her. This house is supposed to be a place of safety, a sanctuary. You violated that. I didn't mean to, it just happened. You mean, you just happened. I don't know if you've noticed, but everyone close to you eventually gets hurt. If not by your hand, then by some criminals. Something needs to change, or you will find yourself alone.
You have the laptop? And the glasses we need to get past the encryption. I hope you're not keeping Ms. Kyle at arm's length because of... Well, because of any lingering feelings from last year. Even so, I just wonder... Perhaps she might not be the worst thing for you. She may not be the most savory individual. Selena thinks she can charm her way through life. I'm done playing that game. You're clearly more than a toy to her. At least, that's how it looks from the outside. Why don't we keep our minds on Riddler's laptop? It was just a thought. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. Access granted. It appears it'll take a moment to scan for viruses and other safeguards. If you have a second, I have something to show you. I finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. But, well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. At any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because well, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. data. Oh, oh God. Some kind of viral agent from the looks of things. We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. Patient 844. 10 milligram injection at 0.015% solution. Is this a medical facility or a prison? Invoices, schematics, design notes. must have been talking about the location of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look, manifest. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for a delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. A biological weapon. This is what Harley wants. Agency. My God, Bruce. 
We cannot let that virus fall into the hands of those maniacs. I will stop them, Al. How? Lucius is gone, Gordon doesn't trust us, and Selina, well, you certainly made sure she won't be coming to your aid. You keep distancing yourself. You need more support than just this old soldier. We're completely isolated. How are you supposed to deal with a threat this big without allies? I don't need help from anybody. If you really believe that, you're blind. You don't do this alone. So long as I live, you never will. I have the location of the Black Side. I need to get in there before Riddler's gang or the police do. Despite my reservations about her, I think it's time to reach out to Ms. Waller. Bruce, to what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus with human test subjects. Bruce, what on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... Is that what Quinn's after? Yes. I found the Black Site, hiding in the middle of Gotham at the Bodhi Spa. Okay, okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but you only have yourself to blame for this. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Down, now! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Gentlemen, please. You have my full co- Shut your mouth and stay down! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. I look to you for answers, for comfort after my father's death. Instead, you're running with a new crowd. Criminals? I hope you understand why I had to do this. It makes me question everything you've told me my entire life. It wasn't easy, but it had to be done. Look, I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. You did what you had to do. I don't blame you. Okay. I'm glad you can see it that way. What in the... Director Waller? Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it! What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. Oh, please, Gordon, stop embarrassing yourself. Pretend all you want. Officers, please. He's involved! He belongs in a cell! This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power and you know it. Good riddance. Really, Bruce? You would say that after all I've done for Gotham? You tried to arrest me. And I was right to. But you... You should be ashamed of yourself. Leave, Gordon. Now. Time to go, Jim.
We'll make sure Gordon leaves, and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Leave. I said get out. Fine. I hope whatever it is you're trying to do, you don't die. Because I'm not showing up for your funeral. He's saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or, failing that, to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with Black Ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. I'm not afraid of this, Waller. Sanctus facilities have top-of-the-line security, armed guards, surveillance, God only knows what else. Just to let you know what you'd be walking into. This whole situation, it's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the Agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox. But a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. I'm not willing to let anyone die, even them, just for the sake of this plan. What about Gotham? It's cold calculus, but it's the best way. For now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. Al? Have you located the Black Site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. It's possible they're in on it. Uh, you may be right, but there's no way to tell until you get in there. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, so. Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind.
That access door is connected to the spa. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. That appears to just be a patron. We have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. I see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what we're really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. Oh, I have an appointment. Bad shoulder. The main entrance is around the corner. That's not why you're here. What, Bane? Have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD made you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent is that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, Determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best to be honest. This is it. The black site Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. <laughs> Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD in an alleyway with the other rats. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. Well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right her conspiracy. Wake up. Rice and shine.
you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the Black Sight. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the Black Sight. He had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle and now we got it. Go get your boys ready, we move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane, tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? You need to keep your people in line. Sometimes that means making hard choices. <laughs> such a pretty way of saying killing a person. And taking you for such a ruthless fella. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there are more to the story I should know. Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see. Oh, come on. I'm more than just that. We all have more to us, Bruce. You're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to doctor in school and everything. All for my dad. You got some of the same shades as him. Deep to drown, to the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe. Like nothing could hurt me. That's kind of a disturbing song. Well, my dad was kind of a disturbing fella. Now, he's just a glimmer in a maggot's belly. Same as we'll all be someday. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black side, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But, you actually care for some people. Like that girl. What's her face, uh... Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh-faced and optimistic. No? No, I think it was Brittany. Sorry, I barely know her. <laughs> You're cute when you're friends. You know that? I don't know if she's your friend or mortal enemy, but I know you care about her at least a little. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka. We have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. 
Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you seem to have made up your mind already. I guess one of us has to be the mole. But you've already cleared me. Trying to make me second-guess myself ain't gonna work, sweetie. Nice try, though. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, uh, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Do it again. What? Hit me again. You're hitting him already. I'll let it play. <sighs> I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. And who knows if she'll stop there. Okay, John. That's what we'll do. Oh, really? I knew you'd see reason. Didn't expect you to see it that fast. Okay, 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 this is good. I'm calling her back in. Harley, we're done. Puddin, you might have surpassed the teacher. That was record time. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. <laughs> it was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. been fun. Bane, get him inside. <clears throat> you can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? And I hope you rot now. Oh, so much fire. <laughs> I want to save that heat for later. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica.